the most dangerous person on earth is a person who has been exposed. Get that correctly. The most dangerous person on this planet is somebody who has been exposed to something. Now, a lot of you may be wondering, exposed to what? I can tell you that my life changed. I grew up in Glenora, a high-density suburb, a ghetto. So many people. And um, I was exposed the very first time when I went to my friend's house. And I saw the lifestyle that they were living. And I said to myself, what? This is his bedroom. This is like a palace. Wow, the food they ate. Amazing, delicious food. I mean, we only used to eat them, you know, on a special occasion. Or Christmas or something. But I was exposed. And I was like, what? You know, I got into his room. I mean, he had, he had shoes for like whatever occasion he wanted. I mean, I looked at his clothes and I was like, all of this stuff for one person and because of that it did something to me that I'll never forget I was exposed and when I went back home you know I started arranging things in what was then my room you know growing up sometimes I used to sleep in the lounge because you know we grew up with a two bedroom house so my dad and mom were in one and then, you know, my sisters would sleep in the other. And then the boys would have to sleep on the sofa or something. So, you know, when we extended our house, you know, you know, my brother had moved on out. So I had a room. But I went into my room and I started picturing. I put pictures on the wall. You know, they pic there's so many pictures I have um, back then. And uh, if you go on my Facebook timeline, you'll see how, you know, because of my friend's house that I went to, I was exposed. I came back to the ghetto and I, I, I didn't see myself. I, I totally began to see myself differently because I had seen the other side. Now, it reminds me of the story in the Bible about Moses. You know, Moses went to, you know, he was taken out, put in the river, went into the palace. He saw all of this. And, you know, he then got frustrated and said, I need to go back to my people. And I need to make my people know that, you know what, this is, possible it can be done and for me my mindset was changed then because i had not seen something so i never used to think that it was possible because all i was used to was seeing that one pair of shoes that i'd wear for basketball that i'd go out with that you know the other pair of shoes was you know my school shoes and i had slippers or something but when i saw that i was like wow this is possible you know my friend's mom drive the mercedes benz strictly she lived a specific lifestyle and because of that, it opened me up. And I can tell you that up until this day, the values that I have is because of that exposure that I got. You know, I, I never had that much money to go and buy, you know, the top of the top things at that time. But I would go to Mpeza Namo, a place where, you know, clothes would come from all over the world. And, you know, they would come and I'd look good and, you know, go buy those, you know things and um, you know it looked good because I was exposed to think that wait a minute because of that it changed my mindset and the standard of living I began from then on changed me drastically which is why I began by saying the most dangerous person on earth is an exposed person that changed me totally I started believing that I can have whatever I wanted to have because she grew up in in Chitungwiza her name is Constance Marimo she owns, you know, Wallace Boutique, Chapter 2. She opened a hair salon. But she grew up with nothing, too. But you know what? She came from somewhere, and she became somebody. So her story really inspired and provoked me. And that exposure changed me totally. Even the things I wear today is because I first started seeing it at the house. And my good friend Tino used to give me some of the clothes. They might have been a little bigger. I mean, the shoes were a little bit bigger, but I mean, he always had my back. You know, we'd go out. I used to look cool, but I mean, I couldn't take the clothes back home. But that did something to me to say, wait a minute, I want this. And Ragandi um, Bashungu, the Gutindi Ritrozunjang, Gutindi Vemunwandawe today. So it's important that wherever you're at, be exposed. Go to places that open you up. You lose nothing by going to um, a hotel and asking to view the prices, going to a car sale and asking to see the latest Mercedes 
they don't judge you or vet you. You know, you lose nothing by being exposed. I encourage people to travel because when you see different things, your mind opens up to the ability that you can actually achieve. You can only achieve as much as your mind can actually conceive. If you cannot see it in your mind, you can never achieve it. And everything that I have seen, I've managed to achieve. You know, I grew up with one pair of shoes. Now I've got a couple. I, you know, I had a couple of t-shirts that were nice, that were not new, that I used to go and buy from that marketplace. But now I can afford to buy those because of that exposure. It opened me up to actually believing that if she can do it, I can do it. And, um, you know, she's been in business for many years and she taught me a lot. And you got to work hard if you want to achieve that status. Nothing comes easy. A lot of people think success is, you know, a microwave solution where you put something in there and ding, after two minutes, you're rich and famous and you got everything that you need. But she taught me valuable principles. I worked for her for a minute and she taught me a lot. And that's why I say the most dangerous person is an exposed person. So expose yourself more to the things that you would love to, which is why I love putting myself with people who have more than I have so I can learn, so I'm exposed to them, so I can also increase my number of streams of income because I'm exposed. You can only learn more when you hear and you put yourself in the right environment. You can't self-teach yourself everything. Put yourself in places where you absorb more knowledge. You learn more things. You see more things when you travel and you see things. That's where these ideas pop up and you become a totally amazing person. So an exposed person is a dangerous person. Wherever you're at, it's your boy George Billionaire. Make sure you expose yourself to the right environments which will provoke you to believe in that. Whatever you can see and believe and work hard and you definitely can achieve. It's your boy, George Billionaire. Don't forget to like, comment, share this video. Make sure you subscribe to George Billionaire on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. God bless.